to survive. Nigga, I'm the truth, I won't ever tell a lie. Every time I leave the booth, it's on fire. I'ma burn this bitch down like a rock. What up, what up, what up, y'all? Look, man, it's Sunday. And we getting ready for a day f- filled with NFL football. You know what I mean? And um, we're not going to watch our Eagles tonight because we play Monday night. Um, so hopefully the other teams uh, in our division get the doors blown off of them. You know, that's what I want to see. That's what I woke up trying to see. Uh, hopefully my fantasy team uh, go hard today and, and earn me an, another dub uh, for the second week in a row. Look, man, but I can't wait to get into it. Just in case y'all forgot, this is who I am. This is right here is what I do. This is the Diamond Crew. But I want to give a shout out to my G's and my OG's. But you already know what to do. But if you're new to the channel and you like content like this, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like. I need you to comment. I need you to subscribe. I need you to share this. I need you to hit that notification bell so you always up to date. And look, man, real quick, man, I want to get into um, the final injury report, you know, for the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Bucks. Um what it's looking like right now is uh, all of our guys who are currently on the injury report uh, will be in full participation for the game besides uh, Quez Watkins and Boston Scott. Um, right now, I, we haven't seen much from Quez, so I'm not sure how much this is going to affect us. Um, you know, coming into the season early on in the season, I mean, in the offseason, in the preseason, I felt that Quez was going to be one of those guys um, that we could rely on. You know, he was going to have a bounce back season this this year. But um, I'm going to have to probably say I was wrong on that one. I'm going to have to go ahead and admit that because I haven't seen nothing from Quez yet. You know, he had a few he had a few catches. I'm not sure the exact stats, but it's nothing, you know, nothing. Nothing to, to ride home about, basically. You know, what I mean, I just I haven't seen nothing from Quez. You know, not as much as I would like to. I mean, I know that, you know, the offense hasn't been playing up to the standard, but it's still um, he's been disappearing while he's on the field. So that was one of those guys who I, I'm expecting to see a little bit more from. Um, but I haven't seen much. Um, Boston Scott is always one of those guys for me. We love Boston Scott um, and, and we, we love Quest, too. So hopefully y'all guys heal up soon and, and um, get back to playing football next week. <clears throat> But I want to get into the injury report, you know, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man, because that's important. Um, it's, important it's important to look at those things so we can gauge, you know, what we're going to see on the field tomorrow night. Um, and, and what it's looking like right now is looking like um, um, Devin White is still questionable. Um, so that's something to think about. Uh, also, uh, Vita Vea is still questionable. Carlton Davis uh, is another guy who's um, questionable. Um for the for the Monday night matchup with the Philadelphia Eagles, so these are all key players uh, on the defense um, that we we you know every time we play these guys they they give us fits. I want every team best shot, and you know that's what we getting right now with us you know being the uh, NFC uh, champions and also going to the Super Bowl. We about to get everybody best shot, you know so. It is what it is, man. I'm trying to come out this game three and zero. You know my prediction already. It was thirty to twenty seven Philadelphia Eagles with the dub, um, but I'm hoping I'm wrong, man. I, I really, I'm really hoping I'm wrong. I really just want to blow the doors off this team. That's what I would like to do. I would like to just cruise to a victory this week, you know. Um, but you know the Bucks are two and zero. We can't forget about how good they are. They are that good. Um, but, you know, I still think Jalen Hurts is better than Baker Mayfield. You know, I think, you know, these two quarterbacks both played in Oklahoma. They both Sooners. Um, some people say that you can't um, say Jalen is a Sooner because he only played there one year. But at the same time, man, they both wore that jersey. They both went to war for the Sooners. So, look, these are two Oklahoma Sooner guys going head to head. And I got to feel like Jalen Hurts is the better one. I got to feel like that. Um, but you know, it's, it's a lot of things that I want to see, you know, as we get ready, I want to see what, 
Brian Johnson brings to the table this week? You know, what's his game plan? What's his scheme? Um, because, you know, that could be one thing that, you know, give us fits if his scheme is not where it would it need to be. Um, we also need um, this defense to step up. We're a bit healthier than we were last week. Uh, we're Reed Blankenship back into the fold. Um, we're Bradbury back into the fold. You know, so we got to think about that as well. And we also got to figure out who's going to play this nickel. It's been a question that's been burning in my head. You know, will we see Bradbury in the slot with Job's? On the outside, that's an option. You know, I would like to see Sidney Brown at the slot um, and, and Bradbury on the outside. You know, that's what I would like to see because I feel like, you know, I want to see uh, Sidney Brown get his shot somewhere on the field, man, somewhere on the field. And, uh, you know, him being a safety uh, pr primarily, you know, he does have cornerback experience, you know, when he played in college. So uh, he also played slot. He played a lot of slot in college, too. You know, I've been doing my research on that to see, you know, what his experience is. And he has a lot of experience playing the slot. You know, he has a lot of experience covering um, tight ends. You know, he, he is a, a player, that, you know, that you can bring up and, and play in a box because he is a scrappy style player. You know, he can tackle, you know, in my opinion, I think. You know, early on, I really thought that he had a hard time tackling. But when you go back and you look at the tape and you read up and you do your research, um, I think that <clears throat> Sidney Brown probably had most issues, you know, tackling players that's a lot larger than him. And, you know, and that's understandable, you know, with his stature only being, I think he like uh, uh, 5'11 or something like that, you know, 200 and some odd pounds, 211 pounds, 212 pounds, somewhere around there. You know, so he's not a huge guy, Paul. He's, he's just, um, he is, his, he, he is strong. He is, uh, put together well, you know, but at the same time, you know, when you run into these bigger players, these larger players, sometimes it's harder to bring those guys down. But if he could, you know, get, you know, to the point of attack, you know, he always could have people help him. Um, there's so many fast players on, on, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, that can help him like uh, like Reed Blankenship and, and, and Slay. Um, these guys are all great tacklers as well. So, you know, it's, it's always going to be help right there. It's always going to be help right there. But uh, look, I just want to see this. I just want to see this team start the season off 3-0. Um, that was that was my prediction. You know, I, I had us going 15 and two and people damn near try to crucify me um, just for doing that. But, you know, if we could end up, you know, three and oh this week, you know, that would be major. That would be a major step in the right direction for the Philadelphia Eagles, man. And look, man, look, we 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 are the team to beat right now. You know, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a stack. We are the team to beat. You know, even though we started off slow, but I think this is the week um, that the offense gets going. You know, I want to see um, A.J. Brown have a monster game, you know, especially with all the, um, the chatter that's been going around, you know, about him and, and, and Devontae, uh, him and uh, Jalen Hurts, excuse me, um, having these issues. But, nah, man, nah, they just, they just holding each other accountable. Um, and, and, and that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. You know, if things aren't going a, a certain way for a player, look, it's cool to step up and say something. You know, I never I never had an issue with that. But um, look, man, it's time to get it's time to get hyped up for this game. Um, it's time to, to, to really turn up. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see us play Monday night, man. I'm so pumped up. Um, I'm, I'm ready. Like I said, I'm ready to watch these other teams um, play. Uh, I'm trying to see who's going to end up three and oh. This week, um, from these Sunday games, uh, it's a, you know it's a, it's a few teams out there, you know that's still undefeated, just like us. So I want to see, you know, which one of these teams um, will be knocked off. You know, I would love to see the Dallas Cowboys get knocked off this week, um, but that's a little bit far fetched in my opinion um, because look, man, you're going up against John Gannon. Another another week where you you're being untested. You're being untested. You're not playing a good quarterback. You're playing Josh Dobbs. That hairline is all the way uh, back here somewhere. That joint is back here somewhere. So if y'all lose to somebody who hairline back there, you know what I mean? Y'all just y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna hear it. 
<laughs> y'all gonna hear it because y'all are not supposed to lose to a team like that. You know what I mean? And um, the Giants already got moonwalk this week. Um, so you know they one and two, really not a threat. Haven't been playing good ball. Uh, Washington is two and zero. Oh. Uh, I, w- I want to see what they do uh, in the Dallas Cowboys. I want to see what they do. And hopefully these, like I said, man. Hopefully these these two teams turn around with a loss this week. So when we come out three and zero on Monday night, when we come out three and zero on Monday night, there's nothing y'all can say, man. There's nothing y'all can say. Look, man, just get ready to crown. Just get ready to crown the Philadelphia Eagles because we are the the beast of the East. We are the best team. Uh, in this division, I mean, it doesn't say it on paper yet, but guess what? It will as we move through the season. It will, you know. But um, look, man, if y'all look, make sure y'all do me a favor, man. Make sure y'all leaving comments down below. You know, make sure y'all um hitting the like button. Make sure y'all y'all sharing this, man. Make sure y'all doing all that to help the channel out, man. Because I'm telling y'all right now, we gonna continue to come with this heat. That's just, this is what we do, you know? But look, man, next till the next time, out of out. Kill it up north and I'm going to kill it down south. I'm so Philly, so you better watch your mouth. Look, last time we played these guys, uh, we got kicked out the playoffs. It was a debacle for us. You know, this time you're seeing a totally different team. Last time y'all said Jalen couldn't read, Jalen is going to dice y'all up. And I wanted to let y'all know that, man, because we have not forgot. We have not forgot what y'all said about Jalen. And this is the time when Jalen is going to get his get back. And I can't wait to 